Guess what Mike's doing? He is putting my new speedometer on my bike. Not only is it not registering how fast I'm going, the mileage is going backwards. Hi, Eddie Fofetti, me, my Mofetti, Fifi, Fofetti, Caddy. Hi, are you feeling better? If you guys watched yesterday's video, we, he was at the emergency vet yesterday and we went to the emergency vet because we don't have a real vet down here yet and I waited too long, I think, to take him. I should have made an appointment at the regular vet, but we ended up at the emergency vet. He was not feeling well. He was like howling when he was meowing and he was, he had been peeing outside the box and he was um, just very lethargic. So I took him to the vet, come to find out he has little crystals in his, um, what do you call it, bladder. So they've changed his, his uh, food for him and given him some pain medicine. And so far he has been just relaxed and doing well. So we're hoping that he is on the mend, little dude. And Alice is just as sprightly as ever. Hi, buddy. Yes. All right, so I'm going to go for a run. Oh, Michael's bringing my ball. Oh, yes. Guess what Mike's doing? He is putting my new speedometer on my bike. But we realized that my bike dashboard already has a lot of stuff on it. So we're trying to figure out spacing. I'm thinking this should go over here. Wait, here. Maybe the speedometer goes right here. And then this, of course, is a light, which is so important. We're going to put that, I think, on the front of the basket right over here. And then I've got to keep my bell and it stays right by my left. I love my bike. I bought him off of her, off of Facebook Marketplace last year, and she came with all this wonderful stuff, except we did add the basket and we added the drink holder, which is a coconut that says pink power with a little flamingo riding a bike. What do you think about that? It's another day we should sell, Jilly. It is, Mike. You brought your full box in. You're ready to perform miracles. Big I day. Big, it big is day. Big day. So what do you think about this? I was just telling everybody, I think I would like... Maybe for this, my, my little coconut guy. Mm -hmm. Is it weird if he goes here? I don't think so, because you're cruising along, suddenly you get thirsty, boom. Yeah, it's right there, boom, boom. thirsty. Okay, then I was seeing the speedometer right here. Okay. Okay, then right now, do you mind if I go ahead and move this right now? We'll fire it up. Okay, I'm gonna move this little guy. He's very important and we use him a lot if we ride at night. Yes. And he can go. Problem with that is when you have stuff in the basket, you can't see the light, right? If the light's back here, right? right? But if the light's up here, watch. I mean, that's ding, really ding, where it should ding, be ding, anyway. Ding, 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 I need to go put it down there, but I'll keep it right there. I think that's perfect. Excellent. So, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Okay, so that clears my dashboard a little bit. So uh -huh. this guy stays here. This guy moves over here, speedometer. Okay, so we're gonna have to invert the bike. Oh. Yes. Oh, it means you have to take this off then. Well, yes, we're gonna take that, put that up, but we gotta. We who, I'm going for a run. Oh, <laughs> I guess you won't be healthy. <laughs> no. All right, let me see how I do. All right, good luck. I'm your bike mechanic, Jill. You are, honey, mm -hmm. and, and so much more. <laughs> All right, Jilly. I am ready with my new bike. Very Look exciting. it, I got my speedometer. Okay. Mike moved my little drinky thing over here. I'm okay. practicing right now with my Bolt House Farm green goodness. Excellent. And I still have my ringy ringy. Okay. And I have the, my basket and I put the light on the front. Wow. We are good to go. So I cannot wait. I'm going to see if I can rev it up to, I don't know. How fast do you think I can go? I don't know. Let's see. I, don't, I, have, no, I have no idea. I probably say 25 probably 10. What? 25. 25. Good luck. Thank you. How fast can we go in the kitchen? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was gonna adjust the seat. I gotta do that. Okay. My legs are bending up too much. Uh oh. Yeah, the seat's too low. <laughs> Just when we thought we had it. It's okay. I can still race. Um. No, well, well, it's too low. How how much? You how much look, higher? Watch. I mean, I probably back to where it was. Because back to where it was was perfect for the um, pedaling. Uh huh. This is perfect for like standing. I just think the bike. It's big. Yes, it is a bike. It's too big for you. That's okay. I like it. Okay. Um, All right. Thanks, babe. Well, yeah. Good morning. All right, you guys. Bad news. <laughs> not only is it not registering how fast I'm going, the mileage is going backwards. Mike has worked for about an hour and a half on this. What? Did you happen to read the instructions before you put it on? Oh, no. 
Okay. It's not working? It went backwards. <laughs> the miles go backwards. And the, the speedometer doesn't move at all. <laughs> Are you flipping kidding me? I'm not kidding you. You guys, Mike has worked um, at least an hour and a half. Has it been an hour and a half? Two hours. Hey, Come 14 years old. The mileage is going backwards. Look how many miles are on there. It went backwards 999 <laughs> miles. It started at three. You know, it started at three. I'm riding and all of a sudden it goes two. And it goes one. I'm like, you're kidding me. And this, doesn't, and this move? doesn't move at all. I think maybe that needs to just go to the other way around. Maybe. I don't know. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I think on it, I think maybe it needs to turn around. I don't know. Yeah. It's true. This is a disaster of epic proportions. <laughs> yes, it is. What are we going to do? You guys, we're slated to leave for the beach in an hour. Mike still has to swim. We cannot fix it now. We can fix it later. It is okay. I can't have a good time at the beach knowing that that thing doesn't work. <laughs> do you want to bring it to the beach? We have our bike rack we brought back. We can, you can work on it at the beach while we're, the rest of us are tanning. How about that? It's delightful. Uh -huh. Ryan's making breakfast. Thank you very much. He's our... In-house egg, scrambled egg maker. Egg connoisseur. Yeah. It's really all around breakfast maker. Your breakfast and dessert. Those are your two well, specialties. Well, yeah, breakfast and cookies really is, is yeah. what I do, so. Brennan is a burrito guy. Yeah, five days a week, I'm, I'm eating cereal for breakfast, so on the weekends, I like to hone my craft with the eggs. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. well, look at this thing. Hone his craft. What's your, what is your tip? All right, you guys, yes, Don't I will say, he is using a metal fork on a nonstick pan, yeah. We got a lot of comments on that before. It's, they, it's a no-no, but... They, they try to stop me, and I say, taste my eggs, and try to stop me. <laughs> you just say, taste my eggs, buddy, taste my eggs. Basically. Take my eggs over easy, hold the, hold the metal chips. <laughs> <laughs> we made it to the beach. The sun is shining right in our eyes. Beautiful day at the beach. Fantastic. All right, you guys, we didn't film much while we were at the beach because we were here with my sister and her husband, my brother-in-law, and then their two friends, who are also our two friends, and we were just laughing and giggling it up. Anyway, they've already left. We decided to stay a little bit longer. We're gonna go meet them, and then we're gonna go to happy hour and then possibly dinner. So you'll get Ooh. to see, you guys know Aunt Wendy and Uncle Tom. We'll get to see them. I don't wonder what the kids are doing. Oh, troubling. Who cares? Oh, just there. kidding. We're at the beach. Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, I talked to Katie on the way out. She's having a great time. She's actually at a pool um, at one of her friend's uh, apartments. Great. And you know, we're just checking weather in different parts of the world. And want to say that we love you and we say go to where the weather is good, when the weather is bad. Yeah. But it depends what you think is bad weather. Like, I don't want to diss anybody who thinks that, like, a mix, a mix of snow and sleet is bad. Cloudy that's, that's what's that's happening like at home. <laughs> it's not good. When the sun does not rise, <laughs> exactly. it just there's a blow in the sky. Yeah, and this it's is time yes. to go to where the weather is. And this is what I'm going to say. This is actually, I think, what the big point about that whole thing is: is you have the power to choose more than you think you do. You have the power to choose where you live, who you surround yourself with, what thoughts come into your head, what food goes into your body. You have the power to choose that. And if you want to change it, change it. And that's one of the things that we did. We were like, we loved where we grew up, but we were ready for a change. We're ready to be in the sunshine. We're ready to like be in Florida. And we made it happen. We did what we needed to do to, do to make it happen. You guys, where there's a will, there's a way. You have the power to choose. So make yourself happy. Therefore, if you're a happy person, you exude happiness and other people become happy too. Happiness is contagious. That's right. Yeah. Here's the happy. You guys, I was so enthralled and engaged in our dinner. Thank you very much. Perfect. Thank with you. my sister and our friend. Thank you guys want me to take a picture of you? I didn't, yes, uh, that would be so nice. I didn't even film. Hold on, this lady's gonna take a picture of us. Hold on. All right, so she just took pictures of us, which was very nice. I think she thought I was doing a selfie. <laughs> anyway, this is my ice cream. We're out for ice cream. That's her right there. She took a picture of us, that lady right there. She's so sweet. So I got cappuccino mocha chip. Cappuccino, cappuccino chocolate chip. That's what I got. Cappuccino. Okay, I'll show you that. That one right there. Cappuccino chocolate chip. And Mike got 
cookie dough and fudge brownie on a waffle cone. But I just got mine in a cup with whipped cream and chocolate sprinkles because that's what I get. Score. Thank you, baby. <laughs> Brett Kilwin. Cheers. I'm sure that was $35. <laughs> Did you wait? All right, finish my ice cream. Whoa, we're on our way back now, back home. While I was at dinner, I received a call from Ryan, but I didn't know it because my phone was off. Obviously I'm at dinner, I'm not gonna answer the phone. I happened to peek at my phone and I saw that Ryan had called 11 minutes ago. So I called him back, he answered the phone. Hey mom, how you doing Ryan? Oh good, we're having fun, good. He said, I said, he goes, mom, I'm a little lonely. So is it okay if some of my friends come over? And he, he listed like six friends. I said, yeah, I think that would be fine. Dad and I are finishing up dinner now, we're on our way home. I hear all these kids in the background. I said, wait a minute, are they already there? <laughs> he said, yeah, because when I called you 11 minutes ago, you didn't answer. I was like, oh, I see. So that's how we're, that's how we're I said, listen, bub, you can always tell me the truth. Like, just say, hey, they're already here. No big deal. Anyway, so we're gonna home. He has like six friends over. Totally fun. I'm sure they're watching TV, I don't know. No, there are bad things going on. You think so? Yeah. Mike always assumes the worst. Why do you assume the worst? Because I was once a teenager. <laughs> but that was you. <laughs> <laughs> Michael John. No, I think he's doing just fine. So we'll, we'll um, show up and find out how they're doing. All right, you guys, I got to end the vlog. I'm getting tired. Exactly. Whoops. Ryan, are you oh, there? Shoot. Grace. What? You got me in the vlog. Is that okay with you? <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, okay. All right, you guys, we've got Dylan, Grace, Maddie, and Tommy over here. Hi, everybody. Hi. So we're, we have a question that was asked to Ryan by one of our viewers, one of our family. His name is Bruce, and he wants to know from Ryan, and you guys can help answer this question because you know him very well. Ryan, are you always so happy you seem to not have teenage mood swings? Oh, he does. Oh, he does. He does. He does. <laughs> are you serious? Our lunch table, our lunch table. No our lunch table is funny. He, he, got, he snitched on us because we took his ID. Oh, oh, I did it because I was about to get in trouble for it. You went to the D and snitched on us. I went up to the lunch line. I went up to the lunch line. Oh, you were walking around making it so obvious. I went to the lunch line and he goes, Donnelly, where's your ID? You were walking around making it so obvious. You're walking around like this with your blender and like this, making sure we get in trouble. And Ethan comes back and he's like, throw the ID, throw the ID. Right. I do not have teenagers. I am happy all the time. Why do I have teenagers for you, Daddy? Uh, Grace, oh. change mood swings? <laughs> no one's ever right. Well, now I'm gonna have one. Oh, <laughs> buddy. To me, you don't. You're always happy around me, Thank sweet you love. Time. You're welcome. Anyway. You should, you should be nicer around your friends, honey. <laughs> just exactly. kidding. I'm just, yeah, I'm a mean guy. Just kidding. Me. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. I'm sorry. All right. Well, thanks for answering, you guys. <laughs> the true... Ryan Donnelly. Yeah. Yes. The truth comes out. Teenage I never mood thought swings. you guys would be Teenage, 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 Teenage mood swings. Teenage mood swings. Thing. Do you guys have mood swings? No. Yes. 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 I'll admit. Yes. Yeah. I'm always happy. No, you're oh, not. Oh, Dylan. I'm mad. All the time. <laughs> I've never seen, <laughs> seen Dylan mad. I've seen Tommy mad. I think Maddie, and Maddie has mood swings. Yeah. <laughs> I've never seen Maddie mad. Thank you, Tommy. There you I've go. I've seen Maddie mad. What? I've seen Maddie mad. <laughs> <laughs> what? You're allowed to get mad. We're, I think Mad Mad Maddie. Mad Mad. Oh. Mad Maddie? No, you don't. Mad Maddie. No, you don't. <laughs> All right. What are you guys doing tonight? What are you going to do? We don't are you know. Staying or going? Actually, I have no clue yet. They said it's 10:55 and the night is young, which is concerns me a little bit. <laughs> All right. Stay tuned. We'll fill you, fill you in on what everybody ends up doing. Crazy teenagers. They all just went outside to take a picture. Ryan's staying here. They're all going home because they can't drive past a certain time at night and they can't drive. Well, they can drive, but they can't drive other people. What do you guys think about this? As cats, you don't have to worry about any of it, do you? Yeah. All right, guy, what made you happy today? What made me happy today was uh, hanging out with all my friends, obviously. It was kind of a lazy Saturday. We made some cookies and played some golf, hang out with my friends. Can't complain. 
Awesome. Yeah. Great Saturday. Beautiful weather. What made me happy today was going to the beach with Mike. Great run this morning and having wonderful dinner with my sister and her husband and friends. It was glorious. Thank you guys so much for watching. Comment down, made you, comment down below what made you guys happy today and we will see you tomorrow. Bye. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.